Welcome back to Faction Entertainment. Today, I will explain the ending of the drama, adventure, and action movie from 2021 titled Dune. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can keep up to date with all our latest upcoming videos. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and enjoy. Paul and his mother Jessica have had to flee into the wild desert. There is no way to survive there if you are not a freeman. But both will receive the help of Duncan Idaho who has made himself respect each other and the mysterious Light Kinds, who as we know is actually a freeman and has decided to help them. With such good recommendations. Paul and Jessica will be rescued by the Desert Tribe. They will impress them with their combat skills and after a duel in which Paul has to kill an opponent for the first time. Both will be welcomed as one of the Freeman together mother and son and Freemans go deep into the desert, the end. What follows is destined for the sequel, Dune Part 2, what happened to the rest? Dune's spectacular cast has proven to be a double-edged sword. It is a choral film that includes stars such as Timothy Chalamet, Rebecca Ferguson, Oscar Isaac, Josh Brolin, Jason Mama Chang Chen, Stellan Skarsgård Zendia, and Javier Bardem. But the protagonist of a science fiction film like this is his own universe, and even his more than two hours do not allow time to develop each of the characters. We will hardly see Zendalia and Javier Bardem in the whole movie reserved to brief scenes and some visions. It will not be until the end that they truly rub shoulders with the protagonists of Dune so we will have to wait for the second part to get to know them thoroughly. Quite the opposite happens with the court of Duke Leto Oscar Isaac. When the betrayal of Dr. Chang Chen opens the doors to the evil Harkonnen, they exterminate all traces of the Gatorade's reign. Duke Leto himself dies, Dr. Uwa himself is treacherously murdered, and shortly after, we will also see how Light Kynes and Duncan Idaho disappear, trying to save Paul and his mother. Duncan's death to which Jason Mamo it gives the film's greatest charisma is one of Dune's greatest moments. However, there are two characters in the mystery without us knowing what happened to them or what they painted in the film. They are Gurney Halleck Josh Brolin and through for Howard Stephen McKinley Henderson. We saw the first one for the last time leading an epic charge against the enemies that invaded the Duke's residence, then cut, and we will never hear from him again. For his part through for Hallward will not even have such an emblematic last scene. If it were not because this Dune is only a first part in introduction to what will come next there would be no way to understand why Denis Villeneuve has paid so much attention to these two secondary ones or why he has destined them such an attractive casting. Everything indicates therefore that they will be the main pieces of the second installment. So you have to think that they will survive. If the script that is to come continues with fidelity to the novel, we will see again Gurney Halleck directing a group of smugglers on the planet and Tufer. How would a prisoner of the Harkonnen but scheming from within to destroy them? We know the pull at reads that brooding young man played by Timothy Chalmant, who has been forced overnight to become an adult is destined for great things. The schemes of the scheming being desperate witches rely on him to become the superhuman named Quizlets had a rich and the Freeman believe that he may be the protagonist of their own prophecies. What have you done to me? I'm a freak. Paul will yell at his mother Jessica, who has participated in the Bean Jesser Reed plans. We don't yet know what it means that Paul may or may not become the quiz it's hemorrhage, and that is fine. But we do know that it has something to do with his visions and with the desert spice melon. Paul has dreams dreams that can come true. And in contact with the spice these visions have intensified assaulting him even when he is awake. In his dreams, he sees Chani, the Freeman girl that's in Dahlia gives life to. He also sees the threat of the holy war one thousands of Freeman shouting his name under the athlete's banner and that possibility terrifies him. And he sees his possible death at the hands of a Freeman knife. With a hypnotic staging and the enveloping music of Hans Zimmer, Denis Villeneuve has turned Dune into a tragic epic marked by this fatal destiny that Paul glimpses in his visions on the one hand, a bloody war that threatens the universe on the other his own death. When near the end of the film, Paul meets the Freeman and meets Gianni, there will be no doubt that his dreams are more than just dreams, Paul sees the future is it irreparable. Is he destined to die in a duel with a desert weller when the time comes, we will know not to. Paul has changed the future of his visions and has emerged from the challenge alive. 
Readers of the novel will recall that the quiz it's had a rich spoken of in the film is a genetic creation plan by that order of women called the being gestured. They have certain powers to see the past, but there is one area in which they cannot look the future. Through a millennial program of genetic engineering secretly relating the heirs of some great houses to one another. They have been trying to create a superman of being just a red male capable of looking where they cannot. The Quizzits had a ritual know the past and the future. This is where Paul is the key to the end of the film. Without having to go to the book. We know that you can see the future and alter it. Can he also flee his bloody destiny as Messiah? That is all for this video. Make sure to subscribe to Faction Entertainment and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.